All right, another Deep Space Nine update. Well, this is the ones I've been watching. I've only, I think this is the third one I watched. Third tape. Only got about, what, 47 VHS tapes to go for this series. It's going to take a long time. Who knows, I may not even finish it by the end of the summer, considering all the other stuff I watch first. But um, let's just say that this the episodes are Babel and Captive Pursuit. I'll just, I, it's a good thing I don't have to go online with this. Years ago, Bajoran scientists created a virus to kill Cardassians, and now it's loose on Deep Space Nine, affecting everyone, including Dax and Dr. Bashir. First, it introduces aphasia, robbing people of the ability to converse. Then it causes high fever and death. Kira has only a few hours to find someone who can reproduce the antidote if there is one. The Bajorans apparently perfected weapons such as this virus, but inform neither the Federation nor the Kira that such things may still exist. In this episode, we learn that Quark possesses unauthorized Isolania rods with various security codes and that Ferengi apparently haven't developed immune systems have highly developed immune systems. So basically, the because he's a friend and he knew about that, he took advantage of the whole situation. What I didn't understand is why they never put Quark in jail. He's my favorite character. I know people despise Quark, but I love the character. Very devious, always trying to pull some crazy shit. I love the character completely. I don't like, to tell you the truth, I really don't like Captain Sisko that much. In this case, he's Commander Sisko right now. I don't like his son in this show either. Such a boring uninteresting character uh, Major Kira is pretty good um, Odo is probably my second favorite by far um, da Jet Dax or whatever you want to call her she's my third favorite but um, that's how I go with everything this was originally aired on January 25th 1993 um, in Captive Pursuit I Am Tosk says the first visitor from the Game of Conjure as though it explains everything about him but even his new friend Chief O'Brien can't guess why the three hev heavily armed aliens are hunting him without mercy, or why Tosk asks only that he be allowed to die with Donna. Scott McDonald Tosk portrayed Romulan sub commander Nevek in Star Trek The Next Generations, Face of the Enemy, and was featured as Dan Walton in the 1993 film Fire in the Sky. Garrett Graham, the hunter seen in Beware, the blob demon seen in Babylon 5 has played a cue in the Star Trek Voyager episode, Death Wish. So this is pretty, whatever, maybe I didn't say that right, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's kind of scary to have a virus episode, especially after what's happened. But, um, you know, this show is the best Star Trek I've ever seen. And um, I just don't understand why people won't recognize it for what it is. I mean, Voyager, I watched Voyager. And every time I watched it, it started to get more dull. Like I watched it, like th I think, three times over again, and then I gave up. I couldn't do it anymore. I've watched this show already three times, and I could probably watch it another ten times. The problem with Voyager was there was not enough battle scenes. There was a lot of dull episodes, and there's a lot of dull episodes in Deep Space Nine too. But at least when the Dominion War comes around the corner, you have a lot of action. You'll never see that in other Star Treks. You'll see very little battles. It's a lot of just talking. And that's why I think they really need to f figure out the new Star Trek somehow. Um, Alright, so Babel and Captive Pursuit. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.